This video was brought to you by stntrading.eu. They enhance your trading experience by offering extremely fast automated trading services for both TF2 and CSGO. Check them out in the description below. There are many different ways to customize your TF2 playing experience, whether that be through the class that you play, through the weapons you use, from the cosmetics that you decide to wear, and even your hood and crosshair. And I get a lot of questions about my hood. So today I'm gonna to show you what my hood is and also how to install a hood if you're new and you don't really know how to. So I'm just gonna say right off the bat that the hood I do use is called Void Hood 2.0. Now, I only found out about this hood when Strife did a live stream a few weeks, months, a while ago. I don't know when it was, but I saw him using that and I decided to download it as well. And honestly, I really like it. It's a really clean hood, it's really nice. Um, but I might be changing my hood to something else kind of soon, probably like Eve Hood or Ray's Hood, something like that. I don't know, I like to switch it up to keep TF2 interesting and kind of fresh for me, but that's just me. But either way, now that you know the name of the hood, let's get into actually installing it. So this is hoods.tf. Now, if you've ever looked for a hood in TF2, then you should know about this site, as it is pretty much the best site to find a hood from. Now, I'm not in any way sponsored by this site to say anything nice about it, I'm not being paid by them to showcase this in the video, but it is just the best site to find hoods on other than Game Banana, but these ones have the higher quality ones, and all of these are up to date. So obviously you can just search through any of these hoods, most of these you will know the names of, like Seven Hood, a lot of people love this one. Ray's Hood, this used to be everywhere, this used to be Uncle Dane's Hood, it used to be Retro's Hood, it used to be My Hood, it used to be The Prophet's Hood, if anybody remembers him, and everybody used to use that thing. And then obviously we've got all of these, and Bud Hood is actually the one that a lot of people are using now, and I don't know, let's just have a look at it. Now, honestly, I think this hood looks really nice. Using the site, we can see what it looks like in game. I think that looks really nice, really clean. Stuff like that, that looks really nice as well. Then that is without the actual hood on, but still looks pretty cool. Then we've got the different bars. I think that screenshot showing as well. And I mean, yeah, I like it. So let's download it. As you can see here, I've tried to do this before and yeah, so make sure you put this thing on your desktop. You can see my Sony Vegas file there. But yeah, make sure you put it on your desktop and let's get to installing this. So if you want to actually install this hood, which I'm guessing you would want to because you know, you're know you making this, you'd find your Steam folder. Mine's just in my uh, regular hard drive. Normally it'd be in Program Files 86. You'd have to scroll down and it'd be around here, but mine's just in this one, uh, not that folder, no, this one. And then you go into Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, TF, Custom, and then you'd put it in here. I'm going to delete these two folders right now. And yeah, as you can see, this, okay, WinRAR, Win, WinRAR doesn't like me. You get this folder here and you can just drag it in. I'm pretty sure that's how this one works. If not, I think some of the times you have to extract them. I know Budhood has a lot of different things that go on in it. And if you click into it and all this stuff, actually what I think you have to do is drag this one out into there. I'm pretty sure, I I don't know. You can go onto that, I guess, maybe not. Um, one of these will work. <laughs> and then you've got all your customization here for this hood. I know Dane is here as well, like you can get Uncle Dane's hood, which is good. And then if you want transparent view models for Windows, this is only with Bud Hood, by the way. You can just drag that into Enabled and it will put it there. And you're like, oh hey, you did it. Well done. One thing I do want to say though, before we actually launch TF2 and see if it does work, is that you can only install one hood at a time. And Bud Hood is kind of a different hood to the most of the ways other ones work. With Eve Hood, for example, you can just see this regular Eve Hood folder has the resource and scripts in it. And that is the file for most of the hoods that you need to actually drag into the folder to make it work. With Budhood, you did have to take out this folder from the Budhood master folder and then it works because this one has the other folder in it with the resource and script and it also has resource and scripts here. So if you just put the Budhood master folder in, that won't work. But for most other hoods, it should just be the first folder that you see with that name. Not the whole zip file, just the folder. And then with Eve Hood, you've got your, your random overrides if you wanted to ever add stuff like that in. But most hoods, 
don't really have that. So I didn't want to confuse you guys too much downloading a complicated hood and making changes to it. So I wanted to show you again with Eve hood. If you just drag that in there into your custom folder, you should be good to go. So now let's launch TF2 and see if it worked. And here we can see that it has actually installed it and everything seems to be working. Now, this actually worked for me this time. The last time I tried to install Bud Hood a few months ago, it, did, it didn't work. And you can tell it's kind of working because of this rainbow type thing. If you go into a casual thing, you can see all of the like different looking selection screens. If you go into backpack, you can see this all looks different and really, really cool. I actually really like this design. I want to swap to this hood probably. And yeah, honestly, it's just it's just very cool. So I'm going to I'm just going to jump into a custom server and show you that the hood is actually working. So now that we are in the game, we can tell that the hood is actually working as it should be. If we can if we click on the scout, the transparent view models are also working as we were doing this before, and everything is working as it should be. You can see the custom damage numbers, the custom health. Yeah, ammo, stuff like that. It's, how did I miss all of those shots? I'm really bad. There we go, he's dead now. But then your custom kill feed as well. Everything works pretty much perfectly. And I think most most of the hoods do follow the same pattern. That bud hood one, you have to take the actual bud hood folder out of the bud hood master folder, I believe, to make this one work. Either way, if you did it the way I showed you for Bud Hood, I mean, that kind of works. But most of the, the other hoods are much more simple and do work if you just have the Master Hood there. I, I feel like you just need the one, and I know that you just need the one that has all of the actual files in it, like the customization stuff like that, and the game and that. So make sure you have that folder in your custom folder, and you should be pretty good. I mean, I might, I might go back and show you a few examples, actually, of other hoods being installed. And, I mean, you can always look on other videos, I guess. I don't really know, dude. I won't quit the edifice. Rolling, rolling with edifice.